So a friend asked me um, about the the depth of cut on my South Bend 13. And he asked me how you know how small of work can you do, how heavy of a work can you do. Um, so I was explaining some of the things that I've done with this machine so far. One of the things I did is I made the little pins for the cam ring on my bridge port. I threaded them, turned them down, used the collet, uh, worked out perfect. Nice small work, very easy. <clears throat> Nothing about the size of this machine w stood in my way at all. So then I was telling him uh, about how heavy of a cut I can take. So chucked up in here is some 1117 steel. I have a high speed steel bit that I ground myself, just regular high speed steel bit. Um, as you can see right here, this is a hundred thousandths depth of cut. If I could get my camera to focus. It's a hundred thousandths depth of cut. On my direct reading dial, I put it on 200. All right, I'm going to show you how it cuts, and uh, and that'll be that. The noise you're going to hear is the bearings in my motor, which need to be replaced, so uh, try not to pay attention to the screeching sound. Lovely, isn't it? All right, here we go. Hundred thousandths cut in eleven seventeen. Effortless. The bit is very, very sharp. I ground it and then I honed it and it's literally razor sharp. There you have it. Um, I'm running on the slowest speed, biggest cone, slowest speed, and the slowest speed. <clears throat> so there you have it. it. It could hog off a lot of material without batting an eye, and it can do small, minute work. Um, if you want it to do very, very small work, I guess uh, you'd have to get a smaller chuck that can chuck smaller diameter work but other than that I mean it's it's a great it's a great machine to do both small and heavy stuff so if you're considering getting a South Bend 13 go for it highly recommend it